He feels silly, and we'll talk about this from the basketball end of things first, because I was one of those people who thought that Derrick Rose was done and over, and instead he has his career high, instead he is doing things, shooting threes, making four of seven from three that I did not know. I did not know that was in his skill set, to be honest, Bo. And so from a basketball perspective, I look at him and I realize he is the avatar for so many players who have either been injured, four knee injuries he's had, or fear injury. And that sort of explains why the outpouring of praise and love from the league was the way it was. Yeah, no, no. This is a game that we did not think that he had in him. Now, it is a cloudy situation, obviously, in terms of the way that people respond to this because that chilling deposition stays in our minds. Yes. It's hard to ignore it if you saw it in the first place. Now, if you're talking just about basketball, Derrick Rose won the MVP at 22. His career, in effect, ended at 23. We saw all the attempts at coming back. We saw him not be the same person. We saw his hometown, or at least significant portions of his hometown, turn on him. I can imagine what an amazingly emotional moment it was for him to do something that he probably thought that he was never going to do again. Except again, there's that deposition that hangs, and then you wind up with this broadcast with Jim Peterson, who's the color man from Minnesota. This is how he chose to handle it. Yeah, let's listen to that. He's got a lot of stuff going on off the court, and I'm not a judge and I'm not a jury. And to my estimation, he's not been convicted of anything. And but what he is is a hard. He plays hard. He, he's a gutty basketball player. All right, that sounds to me like a man who felt like there is something that has to be said here, but damn, I have no idea what it is. Yeah, and I feel for Jim Peterson. He wanted to acknowledge it, but clearly struggled in said acknowledgement because when it comes to complicated issues like this, Bomani, specificity is always sort of the answer so that we can avoid the cliches and all of that. And the truth is, Derek Rose did not face criminal trial. He faced civil trial, was found not liable according to that trial for alleged sexual battery. And now in two weeks, the person who filed said lawsuit will have the opportunity to appeal and will do so again. Yeah, the place Peterson, I think, Walt wound up in in part is don't forget who signs his checks. And it is hard not to see the way that people react to Derrick Rose and not be a bit uncomfortable with what it was, yes. right? But it also becomes complicated because so many people have come to hate Derrick Rose over the years. That isn't the reason why they do. Like, I've heard people who had the fair argument, like, when you talk about the adversity Derrick Rose overcame, you need to talk about what it was. There was this whole host of actual basketball adversity. Yes. I don't even know if this court case was actually something that required overcoming for him, because I don't think most people in general care about it. But if you know what was in that deposition, it's difficult to look at that dude the same again unless he gives you some answers about some things and he's probably not ever going to do that because he don't talk to us about anything else, let alone this. And that's why it was jarring because Derrick Rose was asked about the meaning of consent, came up with an answer that was very clumsy, later said to his credit that he understood after the outcry occurred. But the reality of Derrick Rose is that you're gonna have to balance two things in your mind at the same time. The fact that this guy medically this story after last night, he's a medical marvel by NBA standards. When people are talking about how, you know, lesser players would have retired, that's true. But it's also the case that he is a guy with a complicated story as well. And that dude almost retired, what was it, last year? Yes, he's been in the league for 10 long years.